I'm supposed to be at a jazz and tour. We start at three, and I'm sitting there recording a haul video that I should have done months ago. And people have been lined up since at like twelve. So if I see them today, it will be a miracle. But yes, let's get on with the video. So this video today is my Paris haul. It is so so long overdue. I went to Paris in April. It is now the middle of August. Like what? I didn't even think of making one. It's just the other day I was like, oh my god, I went to Paris and I could make a haul. I make hauls all the time and I didn't think of making a haul about going to Paris. So I think I'm going to start with the clothes and then I can just go on to the souvenirs and all that because I don't want this to be a long video and I know it will be so let's just get started the first thing I'm going to show you is Brandy Melville they don't have one here I was shopping and I looked at the shop I was like this looks like Brandy Melville and I walked in checked the label and it was probably only new because it was quite good quality clothes and stripes stripes in every Flipping corner, stripes everywhere. If you like stripes, then you should go to Brendan Melville because all they do is stripes. And I hate stripes so badly. But yeah, I knew it was Brendan Melville. So I went around the whole shop and picked some clothes out. So first I've got a grey jumper. And also I'm just going to say, you've probably seen the clothes already in my outfit of the day video that I made. I can make another one if you guys like it. That's like the most viewed video I have on my channel. It's my New York Broadway NYC top but I think it's just a dupe for like the Rambones one because it's kind of the same symbol and design. So yes it's just a cropped jumper and it is so so warm inside and it's just got long sleeves so yes, this is my jumper. The next thing was their bralette. I saw it on their website and I've been wanting it for ages. And then I went to Paris and I... It's like the first thing I saw. I was so happy. So this is what it looks like. This actually goes with the next top because the next top I bought has a low arm drop. And that is... C'est la vie, Paris. So as you can see, it's got a big arm drop, which is why I could wear that barlet with it. Yeah, it's not really that long, so that's what it looks like. And that is all for what I got from Brandy Melville. Okay, so the next thing I got was I love Paris top. Because when I went to Central London, years ago I bought a I Love London one so I'm thinking now every time I go away I should just get a jumper hopefully not too many because I ain't got room for that but and I got it in my colour I got this from RXL it was like a gangster shop I bought it like a gangster shop because it had like weed hats and all that Bob Marley in there so I got this which I love so much and this is the one that you'll see in the video. I wore it with my Topshop ripped jeans. And I also got this one. And I love these so much. So that is all for my clothes. The next thing I got was a scarf. And it just has Paris. And it has all the buildings. It's like the Notre Dame, Eiffel Tower. I don't really know what the other ones are called. But yeah, so, just a purple scarf. Then I went into a souvenir shop and I saw bags, so, and it had Paris on it, so I thought, why not? And this is what it looks like, it's just black, and it has Paris and all the buildings. It's got Eiffel Tower and all that, and, yeah, pretty big inside. So next thing I've got was two phone cases. From a souvenir shop and one's like a bag it has a gold chain on it and has the word Paris on it I 
but it kept annoying me because I put my phone in it and it just because obviously if you have it on if you're wearing it it's sideways so it always just drops out so I think it needs more of a protection so this is that then the next one I got was just a clear one with gold around with the other towel on it I thought it was so cute and now I'm planning to get rid of my phone it's like wasting money on phone cases that I'm not even going to be using anymore so I guess I can just keep it for souvenir so next thing I got was a snow globe with Paris and the Eiffel Tower on it and then I actually got an Eiffel Tower in purple so that's what it looks like This was 12 euros. I spent so much money over there. I think I spent like 200 euros. It was, it was unbelievable. Then I got a souvenir for my mum. It's an Eiffel Tower with sweets inside, but she doesn't want to eat them. I'm just gonna leave them as a display. And then I bought some chocolates, and it's got different pictures on it, like of the sea. And it says different things, Bonjour, Paris, Montmartre, and I've eaten them and I've left the paper inside so I can just remember it. Also the next thing I got was a purse and I loved it, I used it straight away but unfortunately I can't use it anymore because you see when you close it, the thing... They had a buckle thing to close it down so it stays sharp. Broke off. I mean, I could always just go to the menders and get it to fix it, but yeah. And plus, it's really tight. You can just about fit your cards in it. So this is what the purse looks like. And then on the back, it's the same. Now I've got this box I can show you. I did not get this from Paris. My dad bought it for me to put souvenirs and all that in it's a coincidence that it takes me to Paris and he buys me a Paris box this isn't just for Paris, I can I put other stuff in it but yeah and it's got three boxes in it so you open it up and it has another a box and then you open this one up and it has another box so i am be keeping all my Paris stuff in it I also bought some condoms because you don't have funny ones over here and I actually don't plan to ever use these this is just all for souvenirs so the first one is I love Paris oh it's coming out oh god that's what she said okay so I love Paris then the next one I got was a Starbucks one but it kind of doesn't say Starbucks it says a bad word so I'll put my finger over that and that's what that one looks like so I also bought a spoon and it has half a tower at the top of it maybe I can use this when I buy my own house or something but I don't know it's just a souvenir really I also bought a souvenir de Paris lavender to be honest I bought this only because it's purple but I actually hate the smell of lavender so much and it's one of them roll ones it just, oh god who, does anyone actually like lavender smell because it smells so bad I also went McDonald's and I cut out it because I wanted to keep it because it's in fringe I don't know why, maybe I just like keeping loads of stuff it might not be necessary but I don't know it's a memory the next thing I've got in Paris is a bear I can't remember exactly where I got it from whether I bought it in the Eiffel Tower or down the road but it's so cute actually I remember yes I did buy this in the Eiffel Tower it's got a little barrette thing and it's got a little like it's 
So yes, that is the teddy bear that I got. I've got a card of the hotel I stayed at and I stayed at Floride Italy. Italy. It sounds like I'm saying Italy but I'm not. And it was literally close to everything. You only had to walk down the road and you was at the Eiffel Tower. So that was really good. I've even got a bag of Tower Eiffel because I actually went into the Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah, I've got a little seat of Brandy Melville and it came up to $72. Just in three items. That is just a bit too crazy for me. So yeah, when I went to Paris, I went on a cruise and I saw all the bridges. I even saw the locket, the kiss love bridge thing. And I was, we were, I was going to see it, but I guess we didn't really have time because I, I was literally there for like three days. One was shopping, the other was the cruise, and one was just going home and being there. So I didn't really do much. Okay, so that was all for my video. So as you can see, I did buy quite a lot of stuff. I'm sure I bought more. But as this haul is long overdue, I've probably forgotten a lot of things. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too long. I actually thought I was missing something and I was. I've been wanting a Starbucks tumbler plastic cup for the longest time ever. And I go to Paris and guess what? They have it in their shop. They had the Starbucks I wanted. They had the Brandy Melville top I wanted. I just went into my um, cup drawer and this is the Starbucks cup. This isn't actually the Starbucks cup I bought in Paris. I bought just the plain one without the purple inside. But then I went to Starbucks in London. And guess what they had? This. Are you joking me? I went in Paris and spent like, what, 11 euros on a cup and then come back and spend like another 10 hand on a cup. So now I've got two. So I used the one that I've got in Paris upstairs as a makeup brush holder. And I used this one to drink. I've only used it like once or twice. So yes. And that is all, I think, I'm pretty sure, for my... Paris haul. So I'm back again because I turned the video off, went upstairs, put a thing away, and realised that I forgot this. Most people will probably just leave it, but I want to show you. So it is a snapback. It says Paris on it. Most of them weren't all that good looking, but it's got a cheater. I've actually worn it a couple of times. is going to be the last item but until then I will see you guys later <laughs>